this hurts my back. I, I, I am hungover. <laughs> that is true, but I also am doing this thing. This is something that I've wanted to do ever since I knew I was leaving Davis, which really is ever since I came to Davis, because I knew I wasn't going to stay here forever. Even though I'm just moving to SAC and I can come back and get these anytime I want, why not just buy every single boba drink that I really, really like here? I realized quickly that I did not have the money to buy that. So I stuck with five. Just getting these five took me an hour and a half to go get. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm gonna start with this one because this is the only one with actual boba in it and I want to drink it because the drinks with boba in them you can't like keep overnight and stuff. Like I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to drink all of these but a lot of them should be fine overnight. This one will not be because the boba gets bad and you do not want that. Ah! Yee. I love it. So this is from a new place called On Tap and it's actually right next to Old Tea House at the U Mall. There's a build your own option but they also have a menu with all these drinks and this one I can't remember the name but it's the mango jasmine milk tea and it has mango stars and boba in it. And the best thing about these, in my opinion, is the fact that it's four dollars for all of this. So the tea, the stars, and the boba, it's all four dollars flat. There's no tax. It's amazing. I actually, I got all of these with 50% sweetness because I don't usually get like full sweet drinks. So I would recommend getting it with 50% sweet because this one's actually still pretty sweet. Honorable mention for on tap will be their secret garden drink. The secret garden is lychee rose green tea, I believe, with lychee jelly and crystal boba. I usually switch out the crystal boba for strawberry hearts because I'm not a big fan of crystal boba. <laughs> My boba's already starting to get hard. Next, I'm going to Mandro, which is probably still my favorite boba place in Davis. I love a lot of their drinks. This one is definitely one of my favorites. It's the Okinawa Pudding Milk Tea. It's really good. Oh my gosh, I want to drink it, but I feel like I shouldn't open it. Another honorable mention for this place is the Mango Sago. Also their Mango Green Tea. Their Mango Green Tea is really, really good. I always get it 50% sweetness and then coconut jelly. It's amazing. Okay, Gong Cha. Gong Cha is really close to where I live. It's in North Davis, so if you're in North, it's super close by. I haven't had too many of the drinks there. Some of the ones that I've had have not been my favorite. This one, however, I really like. I don't even know what it is. So it's the Lemon IU, and the IU is like the jelly thing inside of it. I don't know if you can see the little brown jelly. It honestly tastes like a little bit like brown sugar or winter melon, but just not very strong, and I really like it. This actually doesn't have any tea in it. It's not tea. It's just like lemon juice, I'm pretty sure. Well, Lemon juice and water and sugar. It's a lemonade. That's that's lemonade. And this is the other one I'm probably gonna drink later. Actually, here. I'll just we'll just try it. It's fine. I hit. That's okay. It's so good. I I love I love. Honorable mention for Gongcha would be also not tea. It's one of my favorite drinks there. Is also the I think it's called Rainbow Lychee Sparkler, and it's literally just like lychee flavoring club soda, and then rainbow jelly, and it's so good. Okay, so next is also not tea, and it's also all belted right now, because I am dumb. I am very dumb, and I thought this was a good idea. This is from Tebow, and Tebow is known in Davis for being open until like 2 or 3 a.m., depending on the day. So if you like really want to really late, that's a really good place to go. Their kitchen closes at 1, they have amazing fries, Thai fries, I love them so much. I didn't get them because I didn't really think I needed any more calories after all of this. This is still going to be good. I'll probably like put it in the freezer and it'll freeze and I'm going to do that. I usually get slushes there. Not because the tea is bad. The tea is fine. I just really like the slushes. Okay, last. This is not exclusive to Davis. Well, neither is Gongja, but this is T4 and T4 they have in SAC as well. I don't know where else. I don't know. This is the Elegant Rose Royalty, and I got it with rainbow jelly. Usually I get either rainbow jelly or they have coconut jelly there as well, and I love this. It kind of like, okay, this is gonna sound weird. It kind of like low-key tastes like wine. Like not really, but like a little bit. T4 is hands down probably the most popular willow place in Davis now, aside from Mandara, I think a lot of people like Mandara too. T4 has a lot of good things. They have, oh my God, they have these mozzarella sticks. I didn't get any, and I'm like kind of regretting not getting any, but like in reality, I don't need any more fried food right now. Their mozzarella sticks are amazing. Oh my God, I love them. I love them. I recommend them so much. They also have egg puffs. Egg puffs are really good there. They also have this other drink. French pudding milk tea is really, really good. It's kind of similar to the Okinawa milk tea. But 
but yeah, it's really, really good. I also like the Earl Grey milk tea. I get that there a lot. In reality, okay, look, honestly, T4, everything at T4 is really good. I'm gonna drink this tea while I tell you about why I didn't pick other places in Davis, because I'm sure if you go to Davis, you're like, why didn't you talk about share tea? Why didn't you go to, I don't know, Lazy Cow? I will let you know right now. First place I did not go to was T1, and straight up, that's just because I don't like it. T1's not that good. I don't know anyone that like prefers going there over any place at all. I feel bad saying that, but it's just not good. I have gone there twice and I haven't really liked either drink, and everyone of my friends that's been there also doesn't like it. So just, no, no, no. Share tea. Okay, I was actually gonna go there, but the line for T4 was so long that I just did not have time to walk over there. There's not much parking because it's right off of campus, but it's perfect if you're on campus and you just like want to walk and go get tea. I think my two favorite drinks at Share Tea are the Hawaii fruit tea, and that's really good when it's a caught up. And I also like the winter melon tea, but like the warm winter melon tea. And then with boba, it's so good for winter days, which it's not now, it's still summer. Lazy Cow. Lazy Cow is really only good for one thing, and that is for their alcoholic drinks. <laughs> their fish bowls, their, they have like different shots, I think, also. Those are really good, but their tea itself, they sell the tea with bottles, it always comes with a bottle. If you bring your own bottle back, you get like a free topping, so I guess that's kind of cool. And usually their drinks is like $5 maybe, and you do not get like nearly enough tea for that because it comes in those bottles. I wish they had an option to get the bottle and to get the tea by itself. Because of that, I don't really go there that often. I already have like three bottles of theirs, so I didn't really need any more. And their tea's like, okay, it's like fine. It's a good place to go at least once to for sure, like get the bottle and stuff, but it's not really somewhere that I go very often. And the last place, I think this is the last place, is Old Tea House, and I actually really like Old Tea House, but I usually, when I go there, I'm not really thinking as much of the drinks. I'm thinking more about the food, and I usually go with friends and we get like snacks and stuff. So that's why I usually go there, so I don't really have a favorite drink, and I figured, it doesn't really fit into this, you know, so I decided not to do that. They have really good fries. Those are really good. They have some good milk tea. I like their the Thai tea. Thai tea's good. And just like a honey milk tea, like simple. It's really good too. It was like a low-key milk phone. That's what I'm going to call it. I want to talk about what's your guys' favorite boba drink. You let me know down in the comments. Whenever I go to a new place, I almost always get mango green tea because I feel like it's not something people can mess up, but you can tell if a place is good if the mango green tea is good. Even bad mango green tea is still like decent, but then there's sometimes you go to a place and the drink is just like not good. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know which place it was, but we were in line for KCON and my friend got a, I don't know what tea was. It was I think it was like Okinawa milk tea, but it literally just tasted like straight creamer and like had pearls in it. That was that was it. It was bad. <laughs> I don't know which place it was from. I know nothing about it, so I'm not, you know, hurting their business. It was just not good at all. I don't know if you guys do this too. I'm really weird. Whenever it's nighttime, that's usually when I get milk teas. I usually get fruit things during the day because it's more refreshing and then milk stuff at night. Oh my god. I really should put this in the freezer for something. It's like a lava lamp. It's a little teeny. Literally, I'm not even gonna eat food for the next few days. I'm just gonna have like these. It's fine. I think that's funny. It says please finish within two hours, and I'm kind of like, ah. no. Hang on. Oh, I thought I put my phone on the charger. Did it fall off? What happened? What happened? My dance team, there's something in the group chat. Let me see, let me see. I'm part of So Anyone, by the way. If you're coming to UC Davis and have any questions about So Anyone, feel free to like leave them in the comments as well, or like message me on Instagram. I'll definitely answer any that you have. Or you can message the So Anyone Instagram. Speaking of So Anyone. Have you seen our new meme version? Because wow, we're a mess. <laughs> it's honestly, it's probably one of my favorite meme versions. I think my favorite is still Mic Drop. It's really funny. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, you should watch it. It's not in public, so I feel like less people have seen it. Isabel does such a good job at editing them. I'm so like jealous of her meme skills. It's so good. Mm. I'll look up what I use right now. It sounds like IU, like the singer. What is IU? Jelly made of. Nice. Is a jelly made from the gel from seeds of the Alcotong creeping pig found in Taiwan, East Asian countries of the same climate and latitudes. Interesting. It's really good. <laughs> Shout out to the figs. Figs doing doing great. Because it's common. 
only served with a slice of lime. That makes sense that this is lemon then. It's a good combination. So my camera keeps dying and the card keeps getting full and I'm just tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I hope you enjoy learning about Davis Boba. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.